Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. I am down here at the Sheds Barbecue and Blues Joint here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. They are having their second annual steak off, their steak cook off. And uh, I'm participating with Maggie Farms out of Alabama and I'm just helping out. I'll be working on the ribs along with Brian Ducharme from Smokehouse Bayou. We're just going to take some random footage of our day, walk around and get some uh, some footage of different teams. There was like over 200 teams here today, so we got some stiff competition ahead of us. Going to be doing a uh, turducken for the turkey entry, the turkey breast entry. Also doing ribs and of course a steak. And also, let's see, what are they doing? The Bloody Mary. Yeah, they're doing a Bloody Mary contest as well. So we're just having a good time. A lot of fun out here on a beautiful day in South Mississippi. Well, I heard that Malcolm Reed was hanging around here somewhere, and look what I found. There he is. He drug me up. How you doing? How you doing, Malcolm? Hey, it's a you know, I know this is the first time we've probably met face to face. It is. I know we've exchanged some emails and stuff. But yeah. It's been it's a pleasure, man. man. Two, two Mississippi guys kind I said, of. I'm not leaving end. here until I find him. So <laughs> I didn't know you was way back here in the camp. Yeah. There, but, uh, well, we, we did it the easy way. We called down and, and uh, rented a trailer instead of pulling our big one. Right. And they brought it to us. And I didn't know you could do it. My wife actually found it online. Some really neat but, cabins. Oh, it is. Man. This is a neat little area that right here by the shed. I mean, yeah. you know, Brad and Brooke, they got the food going right, on. Right. Now they got this campground that you can stay at here. And it's, man, this this contest is unbelievable. I might live up the road, but I might rent one of them cabins just to shoot a video <laughs> yeah, with yeah, one, yeah, one of these <laughs> That would be cool, wouldn't yeah. it? Well, man, I'm gonna get out of your hair. That's a nice pitch you got behind yeah, you. Yeah, uh, that's, that's Miss Jolene. Yeah, we got some ribs on her. We're gonna turn those in here in a few hours, and then we got to do two more steaks today too. So. Awesome, awesome. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, Mike. Later. No binder. I mean, we've got you know we've got quite a bit of time before we even really have to have these, so yeah. probably a binder. They'll be not sweat, even necessary. They'll be sweated in real nice right, by right. then. Why are you not using binder? We, we didn't bring one. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot the buster. That's the biggest reason. <laughs> Russ, when you did those ribs the other day, did you go any heavier than what I'm doing right here, or is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I went a little heavier. A little heavier than that. Okay. These judges are going to take probably one bite out of that, so you've got to impress them with that one bite. Got gotcha. you. Loads of flavor. Yeah, that looks look good. Looks good, man. Got gotcha. you.
Alright, now it's our turn. We're going to go on with some ribs. Got two racks of St. Louis style cut ribs. We had them seasoned with the blue hogs. Which one did we use? The original, right? We used the original, yep. Okay. Yeah, push them things in, get them set. Just the way they're going to cook. Alright, we're going to uh, cook the color on this cook, which means that we will be doing a wrap later on. But for right now, let's just get a top on this thing. Tell us about the smoker, Chris. The smoker is a gateway, brand new gateway, second cook on it. And uh, we're hoping to do good things, but it's all I can say. Right now, it's behaving like a champ, doing excellent. So I'm thinking we're going to have some good ribs at Absolutely. the end of it. All right, we've been going a little over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes. Haven't looked at these since we put them on. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, yeah, we need the, yeah, we need the spritz. I tell you what, they don't need to get a whole lot more color before we wrap these. What do you think about another 20, 30 minutes top? I think so. Just looking at them? I'm surprised. There's, I'm glad we looked at them when we did. All right, what we got? Apple juice and uh, Apple butter. Juice and just butter, liquid butter. Yeah. That's a pretty color now, won't you get That is a pretty color. I wouldn't go much more. On. Maybe let's just go ahead and put the lid on and talk about it. Maybe ten more minutes? Yeah. Put a wrap. Okay. Alright, we're getting ready to do a wrap. We got some of this blue hogs original sauce down. We got a little brown sugar going down. Yeah. Oh I'm gonna take some of this honey. This is a fire bee. It's infused with a little bit of pepper, including ghost pepper. Just a little kick on the back end. We don't want to burn the judges up. Just a little bit. Can you film? Just a little bit of that honey. Just a little bit. Right, we're going to flip these meat side down. Alright, if you see anything that needs to come off there, we'll pick it off. It's pretty good for the most part. Alright, we're going on with more brown sugar. This is on the bone side. A bit more butter. Alright, now we're using the, uh, the other sauce here. Now this is the Blue Hogs, Tennessee, what is that? Tennessee Red. It's a thinner sauce. It'll give you two different flavor profiles on the same rack, same rack of ribs. Okay, I'm not putting any more spicy honey. If you want to drizzle some of your honey on there, Maggie's farm. I just want to touch that not much. Competition here at the shed. Jack's drink water's here. We got a whole bunch of folks. Smokehouse bike. All right, looking good. We're going to double wrap these. We'll go neat side down to the pit. I'm going to place these on the pit and I'm going to pull the other rack off. Let's do it. That'll do it. Alright, we are pulling these off. We're just going to do a quick check on them. They're getting a good bend to them, so we might be close. Alright, we can put that lid back on. Check these real quick so where we're at. The man's are always going to cook quicker than the middle. But so we're going to be cutting from the middle. How they looking, boys? Got to go a little bit longer. 
I'd rather check them now than over overshoot it. Yeah, that pulled back. Oh, that's close right there. Oh, this will bow done. That one might be. I think these are done. Alright, let's just put that one rack up there right now, get some back in there. Alright, so both racks ribs, they're resting in the ice chest. It's a little early to uh, glaze them, so we just got them hanging out in the ice chest, still wrapped in foil, still cooking somewhat. So when it's time, we're going to take them or open up the foil, we're going to make little boats, drain the fluid off, and glaze them, go back on the pit. But I want to show you real quick. I asked my wife the other day, getting ready for this comp. I was at work, so I said, hey, could you please go to Academy, give me some charcoal, some uh, cherry wood. I need two lounge chairs. So we got here this morning, because I knew we'd be standing on our feet all day. This is what she brought me. <laughs> Watch it go all the way to the ground. <laughs> There's my chair. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't hang on my butt. <laughs> All right, real quick, going to show you what this was going to be glazed with. We got two types of honey. That's just straight up honey. This is the fire bee honey with a touch of ghost pepper. This is the blue hogs, Tennessee red. We got smokehouse bayou, excellent barbecue sauce, along with the blue hog original. And that comprises our uh, glaze. So hopefully the judges think it's good. This man is a Rembrandt. He's done some painting before. <laughs> Have you ever painted the roof of a building? It's more a... The ceiling? It's you know more the, the Ross, the Happy Son. The yeah, happy yeah Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> happy real. It's we're gonna, happy we're, real gonna, we're gonna put a happy little judge right here. In all honesty, it's kind of more like Sherman Williams. That's all, you, know, it's, uh, you know, up and down, you know. Is there some blue tape around here somewhere on the edge of this stuff? Yeah. Put some pen stripes on it, man. <laughs> right. Yeah, you guys got some good looking. Oh, where's the glitter we put on? <laughs> glitter. Yeah. <laughs> where's the glitter? <laughs> you know what? A little bit of ash on you. That's called man glitter right there. <laughs> All right, Bron, if you'll open the pit, I'll set it in there. All right, we're going to go right. back in here to caramelize this blade yeah, on it. Don't pour a lot of smoke on them. That smoke could turn them darker, so there's a little heat, caramelize that glaze, and then turn it, right? No, we don't turn it, we just let them go just like this. Ten minutes, put the lid on. No more than 15. If you get too much smoke, it'll just it get darker, and you really don't want that. You want that bright red. Yeah, the color's, the color's great, guys. It really is. You want to explain what he's doing? What he is doing is he is uh, slicing the ribs that we're going to turn in. He's painting the edge with the renderings from the bottom of the foil. That will give it a little bit more flavor, another layer of flavor, plus it just has a better appearance, more for aesthetic reasons. And believe me.